Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is supposed to be completely comedic, although some of these can be quite true in all reality. But as you guys can see in the title, I am doing a play on stereotypes of the majors at Emerson. In my previous video, in the What Art School Is Actually Like video, I said that I would film this for you guys and make this for you guys, and that is what I'm doing today. As students, we all like to kind of collectively make fun of each other's majors, and it's kind of funny. This video is inspired by Olivia Ruffin's stereotypes of the majors at SCAD, so if you guys want to check out her video, it'll be in the description. Also, thank you to whoever did my survey. I conducted a survey a couple weeks ago just because I wanted to get some other people's insight on what their opinions are on like the stereotypes of the majors at Emerson. And so I know a lot of you guys that are watching my videos are prospective and incoming students, freshmen going to Emerson. And so this video is completely intended for those who get to hit the restart button from high school to college and kind of figure out who you want to become, just who you want to identify yourself as. And so I kind of wanted to give you some insight of how I perceive or some of my opinions are on the stereotypes of the majors at Emerson. And so if you guys relate to any of these, comment down below, please do. And if I do miss any stereotype that I didn't mention and you want to mention it, I'd be happy. I love these videos so much. So comment down below if I missed any because I want to hear what you guys have to think. But anyways, let's just get right into the video. Also, a really big thing, if you guys don't go to Emerson and you're watching this, we use acronyms for everything. <laughs> TMP, Theater and Performing Arts Theater Education, will bring up conversation in a dead silent elevator ride. They literally have the brightest and the whitest teeth. They brush their teeth at least 10 times a day. We'll take PCAF over the max any day. And they treat their participation in class like it's a monologue. MT, musical theater. The one who will take the elevator up or down one flight of stairs. The Mamma Mia soundtrack blaring in the gender neutral bathroom and they're quite honestly low-key a cult. Design tech. Always having to explain to confusing non-majors what their major actually is because no one actually knows what they do. They're usually the one to take the last sugar cookie in the DH without hesitation. And they take, they probably take the most artsy classes like rendering, watercolor painting, and sewing. Stage and production management, no comment. Comedic arts. We'll make a joke out of how you're having a bad day. Thinks they're John Mulaney, but not. We'll get bangs to satisfy their humor because I don't think they know why they're studying that. No one really knows why they're studying that, but they will get bangs. Film. The straight white guys who need to justify themselves through the art of film. Always discussing A24, Parasite, and Quentin Tarantino's films as cinematic greatnesses. Cigarettes in the Alley. They're either coming into Emerson thinking they have high hopes and to become this big shot in Hollywood, or they're probably thinking about how much debt they're gonna be in after they graduate and have a degree that is like useless. The ones who pause in the middle of a movie just to comment on how great and wonderful that shot was. Screenwriting. Refuses to be a part of any film production whatsoever and always denies that they're a film major. They're, they're screenwriting, screenwriting, screenwriting. Not film, screenwriting. Marketing communications. Unconsciously thinks about how they're actually going to have a stable career after graduation. Canada Goose Jackets, Louis Vuitton backpacks, Balenciagas. Always self-promoting their Depop or Instagram store. Polycom, political communications. Never afraid to call out someone for being politically incorrect. Will complain and debate over which elevator is the slowest and most inefficient. Has bumper stickers on their dorm room, phone case, and laptop case of everyone who they're voting for in the fall. Sportscom, usually the washed up high school athlete who's looking to suffice their love for sports after graduating high school. The one that always asks you for a pen during the middle of class. 
and you can usually find them at Bobby Brown, the Max, or the Baseball House. Communication disorders, calm disorders. The one who usually talks first in class discussion, let's be real. Calm studies. The students who don't participate in class discussion at all the entire semester, despite the label of their major. Not a lot of comm studies majors actually say like what their major is. Public relations, PR. The 50 people within this major are the only ones who know about it. WLP, writing literature and publishing. Always fighting with the journalism students about which program is harder. When someone asks how much homework they have, they usually respond with, I have to read six books and write eight three to five single space papers on literary narrative. Toni Morrison, period. Did not have to think twice about submitting a another writing assignment over their math SAT score. And will not take any grade lower than an A minus, never. Journalism. Did you know that my program is number one in the country? Does not have an ounce of knowledge on Final Cut Pro and barely knows how to use iMovie. Tends to be nosy and asks a lot of questions and ultimately ends up switching their major. BCE, Business of Creative Enterprises, constantly promotes their original music taste, thinks it's cool to be late to every single function, and wears designer clothing to frat parties. And finally, creative writing will never miss an open mic night and never call them a WLP. At the end of the day, everyone at Emerson works so hard. Everyone is just super inspiring and everyone is super passionate about what they do, and if you're ultimately not passionate, those, those students just drop out or transfer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and comment down below if you have any more stereotypes that you would like to share to others. I would love to hear them, please do. If you're not already, please go subscribe to my channel down below and click the notification bell. And also follow me on Instagram because I am posting, I'm starting to post a lot more. I'm starting to post like period, like I've been on a hiatus, but I'm coming back, I swear. Follow me on my Instagram. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.